There's a murder afoot in Victorian Gotham. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the ride back. Uh, just got done watching Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, DC's 30th, uh, I believe, uh, animated feature film. And uh, this one, and I've seen a lot of them, uh, has been one of my favorites. Um, and of course, I'm not going to go into spoilers uh, or anything like that. I'll just kind of give overall thoughts and stuff that you've probably, you've definitely picked up from seeing the trailer. Oh, and um, I was wrong. It actually came out on the 23rd digitally, but today it came out on Blu-ray. So if I wanted to pick up a physical copy, then today is the day. Um, first things first, um, I love, uh, just absolutely love, um, the idea of Batman, um, you know, tracking down, um, Jack the Ripper, which is essentially what this is, uh, based on, uh, Victorian, Victorian era, uh, setting, it's, uh, it really comes across as Batman without too many technological gadgets. So it's more, uh, I mean, there's a lot of action. I don't want to say Sherlock Holmes-ish. Um, there's not a lot of I deduce this. I mean, he does do detective work. I mean, he is Batman. But uh, it more just deals with Batman if he were in Victorian era uh, Gotham. And to that extent, it works very well. Um, I love the setting. Uh, the voice actors all do good. Uh, the two main are being uh, uh, Greenwood and Carpenter, uh, uh, voicing Bruce and Selina Kyle. And But a ton of other um, characters from Batman uh, pop up in it. You've got Poison Ivy, you've got Cyrus Gold, you got Hugo Strange, Harvey Bullock, uh, Jim Gordon's there, um, and all the, uh, Leslie, Leslie Tompkins is there, and they all, Harvey Dent, they are, all these characters are in Gotham, and it's fun to see their own, like, versions of it, uh, pop up in, uh, in Victoria Gotham. Um, since it is an animation, you know, we let's talk about the quality of the animation, because it's not always, it's, it's not always great. But in this case, it is. Um, I think the animation for this and the character designs are great. I love the character designs. You know, they you can still distinctively tell who these characters are. They're just dressed in Victorian. I'm going to say Victorian a lot. I think in this in this uh, in this episode. Um, I will say that uh, it's rated R, and it gets that distinction for just a few things, mainly um, the murders, and, you know, if you're familiar with Jack the Ripper, and it is a fascinating um, piece of history, uh, the Jack the Ripper murders, um, it's very violent in that, in that respect, because it does show the Ripper just straight up stabbing these women to death, and that's a very graphic thing to... to to uh, view. Um, I mean, you're not going to see you know, too much detail, but you know, you get the sense that you know, these women are screaming, it's disturbing. And that's part of it. But besides that, DC loves to keep throwing, he, he keeps trying to amp up the adultness of these animations. And one of the ways they do that most often at times is through um, of a sexual nature. I mean, it was very, very obvious in something like Batman Harley Quinn. Um, <laughs> but in this one, um, we, there are two parts, and I'm not complaining about them. <laughs> um, I just think it's kind of weird that they inject these little bits in here. Uh, that would be Poison Ivy has a little, has a little strip tease in there, even though she doesn't really show anything. And, uh, Bruce and Selena, uh, they get caught in the act, we'll say. 
Mm. Um, <laughs> these don't necessarily enhance the story, but they don't necessarily take anything away from it either. I just feel like they're just trying to interject, inject these scenes into the thing to make it more adult. Um, but all that aside, the story is really, really good. Um, I loved, um, I, first of all, if you're, if you're basing it solely on Batman Gotham by Gaslight, the 1989 um, uh, novel that they released in February, almost 30 years ago, I think we're one year off, um, they released that long ago. It doesn't follow that story exactly. They definitely adapt it very well. Um, but it is a very good story, and I think you'll be surprised about who the villain is uh, at the very end. But, due to the ride back rules, I've reached my destination, which means the episode is over. I would highly recommend watching um, the ride back. I think it is a very solid DC uh, animation. Um, ooh, the next ride back. The next episode of the ride back. I already know what it's going to be, and that is going to be Black Panther. Yes, Black Panther's finally coming out. Um, Today's the 6th, so in 10 days, we got less than two weeks before Black Panther. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you check out Gotham by Gaslight, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching, and please take a minute to like, comment, and subscribe for more super videos.